Hi, this is Alistair Ben Photography and welcome to the north coast of Spain. Uh, we're running workshops here right now and what I'm going to do for my video diary is just to introduce you to some of the locations that we're visiting on a daily basis and talking through some of the different images that we're going to be making and some of the processing and really just a general conversation about uh, creativity in the field. So some of it will be recorded live and others will be like this really like this composition there's some uh, areas of blue flowers in the foreground and then that leading line of the rock formation leading through to the back there yeah i've been working this now for about five minutes and as the nice uh, the sunrise is starting to open up a little bit so getting a little bit of warmer light which is uh, reflecting into the water here on the right hand side so yeah kind of like this so here I am in Lightroom with a selection of four images that I made between uh, last night's session and this morning. Now this is a beach or a, a set of cliffs near a town called Liancres, which is west of Santander. Now I'm on the road using my old MacBook Pro, uh, so I'm a little bit limited with what processing I can do and I'm just going to do these really, really quickly. So I'm just going to do this live um, as we speak. So really I'm going to make this as simple as possible. So I am going to basically come through and make my uh, lens corrections and I'm going to come in and even though I was using the leveler in camera, uh, sometimes it's not exactly as I would like it. Now ordinarily you can see this small section of cliffs down there, uh, ordinarily I'd take that into Photoshop and clone it out but just for speed I'm going to come in and do that uh, here in Lightroom. Uh, I would normally wouldn't crop like this in Lightroom uh, because I don't like killing pixels but you know just to save a lot of time and taking this into Photoshop is going to be uh, tedious in terms of having to wait. So I'm going to make this somewhat darker uh, just to create a little bit more atmosphere. Um, I look on the exposure slider as a kind of mood slider uh, and I've used this technique for a number of years now where I kind of set the mood with the, with the exposure slider. The second exposure slider or the second mood slider is the temperature and you can see by warming up slightly it makes it generally a little bit more optimistic and I can even add a touch of magenta and that just gives it a little bit of a tint that looks quite pleasing to me and realistically what is processing if not determining a, a kind of an aesthetic for something uh, which should be pleasing. Uh, I'm going to put in a slight gradient here and just pull up from the bottom and bring up my whites and that's going to add luminosity to that surf. Our brain wants to tell us that this is white surf so let it, let it be what it is and the second thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to warm this top a little bit more. And that's going to just emphasize a little bit more of that kind of nice warm light that was there. Uh, I'm just going to give nature a helping hand. And then I'm just going to introduce a little bit of extra shadow detail to that because I was using a graduated filter and just by opening up the shadows a little bit above that horizon line it's helping to brighten that area. And finally I'm just going to come in here and add some clarity and drop my blacks of this section at the front. Now by darkening this area and adding clarity to it what we're basically saying is that we're making it more present, we're kind of making it seem closer uh, and that way between the bottom right uh, left hand corner here and the top right the, we have quite a good transition of our dark tones and that is really just going to help us to illustrate the depth that's in this. And I think one more thing I am going to do is just take the clarity off the surf. So I'm just going to come in here and brush in through this area of surf just to make it feel a little bit more diffused and a little bit softer. Um, and the very last thing, how many times have I said this is the last thing? There's always time for one more. I'm just going to take my whites in here and just add a little bit of luminosity in there too. And that's going to help pull the eye through the frame. So I will add a very slight vignette just simply using the effects panel just to help contain that image a little bit and there we go you know a nice simple 
uh, long exposure of 30 seconds um, to isolate some of the graphic nature of this beautiful coastline. Moving on to the next image, this was a detail of the, some of the sea stacks that are just offshore. And again, this is just one that we can work super, super quickly. So come back into lens corrections. Uh, I could do this by default uh, and import my images with the lens corrections made, but sometimes I want to leave that bend in the image. So I'm quite happy to make this uh, something to do every time. Now again, I'm going to darken this image. And as you'll see, as soon as you start darkening things, the saturation really starts to pop because saturation is linked to luminosity. The brighter something is, the less saturated it is. And the darker something is, generally, the more saturated it is. And again, I'm just going to dial in a color here that... Now I'm going to make this one a little cooler. When you've got something like this in the frame that's so dominant, it's easy to let them get a little bit too bright, uh, a little bit too warm. And, you know, we can kind of emphasize that sunset color a little bit too much. I'm just going to brighten the sky here. And by doing so, I'm introducing a little bit of airiness to this. Um, if you brighten the sky, then it's going to feel more heavenly, for want of a better word. And I am also going to vignette this again slightly. So I'm just going to work these images really, really quickly because I want to demonstrate that processing doesn't have to be complicated. Now, this is one I've done a little bit too already because it was a little bit more complicated. Um, I've had to balance uh, some sky and foreground. Uh, the foreground was really quite dark and underexposed, so I've had to brighten up that water somewhat. And with the sky, you can see I've taken some of the saturation out because of some of the adjustments I made that were going to make it feel a little bit over the top. We don't have to make everything super saturated. If it feels a little bit saturated, it's fine. And finally, this is one I did this morning. And again, it's an image that I think has got quite a lot of potential. Now, the thing I was really drawn to initially was the really lovely, there's some really nice blue flowers in this foreground. So I'm just going to grab my clarity slider, open my wipes and maybe a touch of shadows. And I'm just going to brush in right across this area and bring out some of that really nice detail because uh, there's some lots and lots of little flowers in there. And I think I'll even increase the saturation. And just try and make that foreground really come alive. Now in an image that's so monochromatic, I mean the, the surf and the, uh, the cliffs at the back, it really is very, very mono. Uh, adding a little bit of saturation and punch to that foreground is going to make it come alive a little bit more. Now this adds, adds some more global luminosity. Come back here and make a leveling adjustment to make sure it's flat. And again, I'm just going to add a little bit of a vignette. Just to kind of pull that into the center of the frame a little bit. And very quickly, I have managed to process four images in about five minutes and I'll put these onto the screen larger uh, to get a feel for them but really this is just a study of a beach and it's really one that it's such a fantastic stretch of the coast and I've been here dozens of times but it's it's really nice to come back and every time I come back it's just fresh vision so some of these images could be black and white the certainly the first two are very uh, suitable for that and maybe in future videos I'll definitely cover this. So over the next few uh, weeks, I'm going to be spending three weeks, in fact, on the north coast of Spain. I'm going to try and do a, a, a vlog every two or three days, just showcasing some of the new areas that we're taking our clients, uh, some of the types of images we're making, and some of the technical challenges we have with long exposures or surf moving, uh, good light, bad light, interesting foregrounds, uh, sea stacks, you know, you name it. We're going to be trying to cover as much of this stuff as possible. So I just wanted to start with uh, this first video to get something out there uh, to let you know I'm alive. And remember, if you like the content, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks very much and I'll speak to you in a couple of days. Bye.